Peter Ducey, this is some Ducey time, he asks a very interesting question as to what would happen if they did lose midterms. Listen to this. That is a problem. The president has always, always condemned uh, political violence. It doesn't matter, again, if you're a Republican, an independent, or a Democrat. So President Biden thinks democracy can survive even if Democrats are not in charge of Congress. The president is optimistic. He is an optimistic. You know this, Peter. He is an optimistic person. And he understands there is majority of the Americans out there who do not believe in election and in, in denying an election, mm. who believe in actually protecting our democracy. Uh, there are majority of does Americans this, who believe. In does this apply them. to her? Because there are t- her tweets that have that have uh, absolutely surfaced, where she said that Trump didn't win. But what about Joe Biden, who also said, "No, no, no, Trump didn't win." But then he also, 2013, June 12th, Yahoo News, when he was vice president. He was in Massachusetts campaigning for Ed Markey, and he made comments on a Tuesday night, and he was saying that Al Gore won the election. That's exactly what he said. He said Al Gore was elected president. But for the good of the nation, he said he did the right thing for the nation. <sighs> wow. So wait, is denying an election... and Granted, there were some people on the right who did not, who denied an election. What's weird is that Trump said he lost. I don't know why they keep acting like he never said this. He's publicly said this. But Democrats have for uh, they for a, such a long time they've questioned. Not just questioned, they've outright denied whether it's Stacey Abrams in Georgia, whether it was Hillary Clinton or Corinne Jean-Pierre or Joe Biden for 2020. Or for 2016, whether it was for Bush back in 2000. So Democrats, ever since two, ever since 2000, Democrats believe every election they don't win is it means that it was stolen from them. That's that's what that's how they've that's how they've operated. That's how they've handled all of this. And now he's going to be giving an address tonight, where he's going to use. Paul Pelosi as the as the launch pad to make an attack on half of the country and try to distract everybody from how expensive everything is, the cost of gas, everything else. And he's going to try to act like, oh, well, it's, you know, great threat to democracy are all the people who disagree with you. Ultimately, that's what he's saying. Meanwhile, Washington Post asks, where the hell were the Capitol Police? They, have, they had cameras outside and they weren't monitoring the cameras. That's kind of weird, right? They're going to go after WAPO? See, that gets into that point just to hit, just to reference it one more time. The uh, media critic, in, uh, WAPO's media critic, had said yesterday, uh, and I had included this in a piece that I sent out yesterday for subscribers, that they were afraid to criticize some of the crazy ideas on the left because they didn't want to lose their jobs. They're too terrified to even they're too terrified to write bias pieces or unbiased pieces you saw what happened at dasha burns right dasha burns did an interview with john fetterman and she asked him basic questions this wasn't a hard interview this was not an investigative interview it was a regular interview where basic questions were asked i mean where do you stand on this what is your opinion of this policy she didn't, you know, she didn't do gotcha or anything. She asked basic, honestly, you could say they were softball. But he, even before he had a stroke, Fetterman w- is completely not up to the task of answering these questions. He's a man who's never, hasn't worked a day in his life. He's got a sa- he got a, a, an allowance from his parents so he didn't have to work until he was in his 50s. He didn't even buy his bougie penthouse that he lives in. Oh, he gave his sister a dollar for it so he could say that with, well, for a dollar, shut up. And he wants to act like he's the everyman. All these stories are coming out about how badly he left Braddock after he was mayor. The city council, which are Democrats, even turned against him because he was so bad. He abused the police department when he was mayor. He didn't even show up to the city council meetings over half of the time. I mean, oh my gosh. She just asked him. She didn't even get into the hard stuff. And then you had his wife out there. What's her face? Giselle pulls our racist Fetterman or swimming as racist Fetterman 
who wanted Dasha Burns' head. She wanted her fired and punished somehow, which is insane. Ultimate Karen there, Giselle. That's what you are. Good grief. Can I speak to the manager? Swimming's racist. So this, this is, when you, if you even so much as ask a balanced question, you're attacked. That's, that's it. Now listen to this. The Post politics from the Washington Post. This is what they're saying. They're, they're trying to get ahead of this because everyone's like, okay, if you're going to use the Paul Pelosi thing as the launch pad to impugn the character of half the nation, then maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe you should release more information and here comes the washington post post politics quote release the video is mostly a way to extend the conspiracy theory oh my gosh what fex is conspiracy 